Hey Battle Bays, welcome back to another vlog. It's me, Andrea, and I got Darian over here in a cut. And it is Sunday. I don't know what this vlog is about to be. I just know I wanted to start a vlog today because I think it's freaking retainer. Technically, I'm still off work tomorrow because we have a four day, but I will be turned I will be returning to work Tuesday, so I just wanted to start something so I can have like a day in the life, maybe, I don't know. But what we're doing right now is we're getting ready to go outside so we can um, meet, ran halfway to get Mia because she spent the weekend with her dad. And I gotta go to the car really quick um, just to make sure my ID and all that other stuff is in there. But do you have your jacket? Are you ready? What? <laughs> oh. How the hell? <gasps> Y'all, I just opened this door. In my entire car. I didn't even want to go out there. Is it that cold? Oh my gosh. Can I open the door? Is it slippery out here? My entire car is covered in ice. Like the whole car. How in the world am I supposed to? <laughs> okay, I can open the door, but oh my goodness. Hold on. Why? Tell Andrew a couple of this. Why is it this cold? Why? Is there ice everywhere? On a car, on everything. What is this? My stupid asses don't watch the news. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> mm, I can open the door. I would say it would open the door, but. You ain't got no scraper I don't. I'm about to just get in there and turn on the heat. Is that smart? <laughs> um, okay, let me go. Oh, it is so, it's so cold. I cannot believe it. Why is it this cold that it's ice everywhere? This makes... <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow. Thing. Let's see, what can I use? What can I use? Is it strong? My hands are about to be so cold. Y'all, it is always something. I'm thinking I can use this as a scrapey thing. <laughs> Cause I don't have anything in here to scrape the car with. I'm about to try it. I'm about to try to. Oh my goodness, first of all, this tree's covered in ice and it looks so pretty. But let me try to scrape this. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. I need to get this little girl. I should have left out earlier. <sighs> okay. I cannot believe how cold it is. It says it's 31 degrees. No, is that is that right? There's no way. Okay, Um, weather. It's 34 degrees, is what it's trying to say. It's, that's what it's trying to convince me. But it says it feels like 24. No, it has to be colder. So the lotion thing didn't work, so I went in the house and got a spatula. Let's hope the spatula works because this ice on this car is so freaking thick, it makes no sense at all. And it's so cold. It says it's 34 degrees, but it feels like 24. There's no way. It's so cold. I'm 
were just getting back from picking Mia up and now we gotta clean because the house is gross. Don't judge us, we're still recovering from COVID. But we ended up opening the patio and like, whew, look at this. Look how, let me see, can you even see that? All the trees are leaning over because there's so much ice on them. Hey guys, what's up? So I am in the middle of cleaning my room, literally. I literally have half of my room clean. Over there, clean, beautiful, nice, organized. Over here, not so much. So I am currently cleaning my room and I got a nice little surprise, okay? Real quick, you all know that I had one cat. I had Sam and then I found the two kittens in the McDonald's parking lot. So I ended up with three cats and then I went to Iowa and I came back <laughs> with another kitten. So I have four cats now. To be fair, I wasn't supposed to keep the cat that we bought back from Iowa. I was only supposed to be um, fostering him, working on him with socializing and stuff like that because it was very apparent that he was abandoned just way too soon. He obviously didn't have any real human interactions any real interactions with his siblings and things like that it was just really he was just it was just it was so sad he really wasn't used to anything including the litter box you would go and sit him in a litter box and if you know cats you know that whole litter box thing that's like a second nature to them and he just was not understanding it when it came to eating food he really could cut like grasp that concept either he was just a little he was a little slow so I bought him home and I was working with him and I wanted to get him used to us. But with him, like the other kittens, I'm pretty sure if I would have given them to a shelter or somebody else, it would have been fine. But this cat in particular, it's just something about him. I was not, I couldn't let him go. So, and he's the sweetest thing with how he is and obviously not being around people, not being around cats. He has not one time, not one time shown any signs of aggression whatsoever none he don't even meow i've heard this cat meow once one time since i've had him once and that was when i was holding him because the thing is you have to hold him he snuggles he purrs and he wants you to hold him but once you put him down it's like he gets overwhelmed and he'll jet and he's gone he, he disappears and he'll be lost for a few days and then he'll just come out of the woodworks and you'll just see a big fur of black running across the room and you're like oh there there he is Okay, well, I guess we'll see him again in another two days. Because of that, I named him Solo. <laughs> his nickname is So. All my cat's names start with S's. So his name is Solo and we're still working on him, okay? But I'm over here working on my things and I got a nice little surprise. I haven't seen this cat. It's Sunday. The last time I saw him was Thursday. <laughs> and let's he'll run. He, he's pretty fast. <laughs> what are you doing? So, so. Hey, so. What are you doing in there, silly? Hi, baby. Are you having so much fun? Are you comfortable? So, so. I'm trying to show the people you. <laughs> Say hi. How are you? And the thing is when he goes missing, so he's learned the litter box now. Um, <laughs> I used to find little poops and stuff around the house and I would know it was his cause I know what his looked like and I know that sounds weird, but um, I'm pretty sure he's learned the litter box now. I haven't been finding poop or anything around. Um, and I'm pretty sure he eats when he thinks no one's looking. because he doesn't, he's not as hungry as he used to be. <laughs> you are so sweet. Listen to those little purrs. What's that? What's that? Say hi. And this is what he does. Like once you hold him, once you pick him up, he wants to just cuddle and kiss on you. And he is just, he's super sweet. And it's super cute because he likes to sit like in my neck like this 
he wants to just sit there like that. <laughs> Say hi. Hey. Where have you been? We've been looking for you. We looked for you everywhere. How did you even get in there? I know you weren't in there the whole time because I would have heard you. And we had a collar for him. He took off his collar. So it's not like we can really hear him. So it's funny when we do find him after so long, again, it's usually because he jets across the floor and we're like, oh, there's there's Solo. Let's, <laughs> let's follow him and see where he's going. And he's fast, guys. He's fast. I'm talking literally you turn around don't don't turn around for too long don't blink because he is fast so yeah that's it i just wanted to introduce you guys to my fourth and last cat because again i wasn't even supposed to end up with another cat but with him it's it's just a special situation and i'm not getting rid of him is that right is that right first of all i don't know who you all think you are hey Excuse me, excuse me, you're not supposed to be on the bed. Hey, get. You have your own bed, go find it. Go, go find it, go find y'all some business. Go, go find, uh-uh, no, the other way. Go find you some safe to play with. Ooh, oh, no. Go. I don't mind the cats being in my room. Um, I just don't want them in here all the time and I don't want them on the bed. I want them to stop getting on the bed. For Sam, I know it's a little bit harder for her and it's a little bit harder for me to not let her on the bed because she's been here, this, that's my baby. But when they're all on the bed, all of them, they just in here on the bed, just, just here. You got somebody at my feet, you got somebody at my head, probably somebody sitting on my chest. It's like, they're doing too much. So I, I've been trying to make it where they know, they kind of know not to really be on the bed. And I'm also trying to create their own little safe haven downstairs. That's still a work in progress, but that's what I'm trying to have done. Don't get me wrong, it's hard with a house full of cats, um, especially with them still being pretty young. Sam, not so much, she's about to be five in February and then the two kittens that I got at McDonald's they are at this point they're probably four or five months and Solo is barely two months so they're still babies <laughs> they still play too much yes but anyway I'm about to go ahead and finish cleaning my room it's about to be nine o'clock and I really wanted to be done with a lot of this stuff beforehand because I have some content for Instagram that I'm supposed to be making as well as a freaking video for YouTube that I'm still trying to edit. So I'm about to try to finish cleaning and maybe take a break and get some other work done.